Hello folks and welcome to another Bitcoin market analysis by Inspo Crypto. Today a very I would say exciting day but it's not at least not for me. Um, some people know I was shorting I closed my short with loss and withdraw the my all my funds from crypto exchanges just afterwards because they are changing the rules now um, as we have seen just in the last two days even I'm still convinced we will nuke and I will miss it but it was stressing me uh, to be honest I was doing a very good phase of um, yeah big gain trades and since few weeks it's getting a big challenge for me I was very stressed I mean if you want to trade you can trade goal um, go to your entry and then you know just close everything and let it go but uh, it's not what I do usually um, at least not in the last few uh, two three months so I was trading the swings, I was trading well, a lot, uh, many of you know that, but um, if you see that your ratio is declining, you know, then it's sometimes better just to leave, to make a break and to make something else, because I'm, I'm spending a lot of time front of the screens and I was noticing it's just stressing me like today it was stressing me I was expecting 22.5 to 23 we maintained at 23 and after we have seen after we received the negative very negative GDP they have started to push SPY Bitcoin just followed so you can see SPX and SPY what they did and in my opinion, I know many will say, no, you can't manipulate the 30 trillion market. Yes, the big volume can, of course, drive the market. Someone is always driving the market. And in my opinion, that's not working, that everyone, everybody have the same understanding that a negative GDP growth and even 75 BPS is something good. Now people are calling the next thing PIVO. I, I, I really don't know. I, I, I don't know if I'm so far away from the realism, <laughs> or they are, to be honest. But I just see the whole situation is getting worse. And it's not getting worse because they are uh, rising the rates, the interest rates. It's just getting worse because of the whole economic situation, of the global economic situation. So what they are doing is, in my opinion, absolutely not healthy for the market. Not for the short term, but absolutely not for the long term. And sometimes you have to decide. I have mentioned in the past that could happen and today I have decided to leave the market. Leave the market doesn't mean I don't like the market. It doesn't mean I'm not going to spend analyzing the market because that's my passion and I'm going to keep doing it. But I am not going to risk my funds anymore in that market. I just took off my, my money with the gains at least the remaining gains and that's it i sold my atoms i sold my quants today um i really sold almost everything except my fusion <laughs> it's all, still on change and i'm um yeah i get my yields there so it's my long-term position everything else when the market nukes again, I will rebuy all my my uh, spot. But yeah, you know, I like to be very clear to you guys. 
Um, I was at least wrong in my entry. Um, I don't know how far they want to push SPY. I'm noticing that they really want to push, in my opinion, they are fooling us. It's absolutely not worth um, to risk anything here because any little thing can happen and they will push down very hard. Nobody will know when it's going to happen. Absolutely nobody. So some people out there are calling the next bull run, pivo and whatever. Maybe everything is going to happen then I was extremely wrong. That would be wow. Well, it would surprise me a lot because all the metrics, everything that I have analyzed in the few months was worthless. Um, and I really don't think that. However, we will see. In my opinion, they are just fooling us. They will push even more. It wouldn't surprise me if the weekend is going to be extremely bearish on Bitcoin because one thing is SPY, another thing is of course Bitcoin that works 24-7, 365 days per year. So we will see what's going to happen, but I will miss it. Absolutely. I'm not going to trade that anymore. Um, so we will see. Of course I will announce as soon as I feel better with the market, when everything looks better at the moment, it's just pump and dump. And what more is pissing me at the moment is just seeing the worst data and they are just calling the next bull run. That's really, yeah, okay, whatever. Just want to be clear because some of you are very interested and are asking me if I'm longing, I'm shorting, whatever. I'm not going to trade anymore. Not spot, not futures, not nothing. Just to make it clear. And uh, the only thing, maybe I just want to buy gold, maintain that. That's absolutely not stressy at all. And <laughs> that's it. Let us go forward and check what's happening. The wealth ratio, 30 days moving average. As forecasted it's declining in my opinion it's very clear what should happen next because that's what it did in the past usually when it declines that's where the sell pressure starts like we had in different times every time when it starts to decline afterwards uh, the price has started to dump even people will claim once again, hey, inspo, but check, last uh, summer didn't happen. Yes, if you check the price, uh, the waste ratio, 30 days moving average, started to decline, and then we did our last spring with huge bitcoins. So they sold a lot. And that should happen again, even if we, it looks like we are going up, some people are calling now 30k, 40k, 60k, 70k. In my opinion, that's not going to happen. In my opinion, very soon we will nuke. I don't know, and that I mean, to be honest, um, I was expecting um, just today's event as the best event that would match perfectly. And they surprised us. So the economy is looking like shit, but they prefer to pump the market. Now some people will tell me, yeah, that's because of internal structures. I don't care. It's just, you know, it's just, it, it doesn't make sense. It really does make sense. One thing is to say it's going up, it's making um, a correction, but they are pumping, really pumping the market at the moment. And that's where I say it doesn't make sense. Absolutely not. For me, that's just fooling retailers once again. And I yeah, just don't want to be part of it. However, so something should happen next. Um, but when? It didn't happen today, as expected. We will see in the next few days. 
However, uh, we can see that uh, the stablecoin supply is lifting up, but still much lower than just a few months ago. So even they are minting some stablecoins, we are talking here about almost uh, 300, uh, let me see, yeah, 300, 400, 500 millions. At the same time, the wage ratio 30 hours moving average, you see, and I was telling you that yesterday, it's declining. That's what we see. It's still in such a downtrend ch channel and just declining. And um, as we see here, that's the uh, stablecoin reserves on exchanges, on centralized exchanges. So you can see what's happening here. Now it's lifting up. They are taking profit. And that's what I did today. Just take profit and leave. And that's what they are doing since a while. 80 millions, 90 millions, 120 millions every day from Binance. Every day. You can check that. Just whale alerts. Check how much Tether is leaving Binance every day. So let us go forward. We can see here that um, we have received some stable coins correlates with the uh, outflows as well. That means they are selling, selling the way up and some guys are, well, whales. It's just, you know, one is selling, the other, the other one is absorbing. That's what they are doing. You can see they are selling more, more, more. Even we didn't receive big inflows once again today. It's really not big. 1,250 today was the max um, at once. Let me check. Yeah. Um, and that's it. That's really it. At the same time, 4,000 Bitcoins outflow here and another 2,000 Bitcoins here. So 6,000 matches very well. The volume delta is not big. N not big at all. Uh, and that's another thing that's really, you know, they are making such big pumps with a very little and small volume delta. It, I mean, it's, yeah. However, that's it. Let us go forward and check what future market is doing. So what we can see here is check the funding rate. Extremely bearish, I would say, just because, wow, to the moon. But it seems it works. It works. It's just free money. Go long, you will be billionaire. Open interest, lifting up, leverage ratio, of course, right now declining, but it was lifting up as well. So if we check right now what's happening here, we can see stable coins to derivative markets absolutely flat at the same t oops, sorry, at the same time if we check for example here the bitcoins extremely high. Well, it's not extremely high. We had really really high inflows to centralized to derivative exchanges, but I mean, we are talking here about, let me see, just a few hours ago, almost 7,000 Bitcoins. And that's not bad. And two hours before, another 3,000. So in a few hours, 10,000 Bitcoins inflows to derivative exchanges. It's not bad. One hour later, 7,000 Bitcoins outflow. Means quick operation. They sent the bitcoins there it seems they longed and that's it take profit out that's it so quick thing let us check uh, what's happening to the futures wow wow that's happening again we have more shorts than longs right now on binance as you know i don't care about this one so I just care about this one. I just care about this one. And uh, wow. I mean, if they liquidated shots, even we had more longs than shots, now they have a reason to pump up. 
because now we have a lot of shorts and what happened last time you remember they lifted more up more up more up and then when the people flipped again to bullish then we push down again ah, I guess it's going to happen again I, gu I guess they will wait until the shorts are coming down when the longs are m much more they will just call the longs at the moment it looks like at least on Binance we have a um, long short ratio of 45 to 55 and <laughs> related to Ethereum it's 39 to 61 that's just hardcore I mean I, I can understand why the people are shorting here because that's the pattern we did just in the past few two months now no six weeks or something I don't know fake rallies up down up down up down up down all the time all the time all the time to be, to be honest I think this time we should be careful however <laughs> You know I'm extremely bearish. I'm really extremely bearish. I know these guys have to exit and they are not going to exit at 10,000. We all know that. And I have mentioned several times I'm expecting an exit pump, but not at the same day when they are really announcing <laughs> that we are in a recession. Even the US administration don't want to agree with that three times in a row with a negative GDP is recession they can tell whatever they want but it is fact so I really was expecting the last big nuke then up again because they didn't accumulate they really didn't accumulate if we check the entities and we will check that yeah some accumulated but if we check how far they or how much they accumulated it's nothing nuts and even the MM entities didn't and that's worst case because if they want to go up that's a fucking crap that's just an illusion they will they will nuke it hard very hard and that's why they are not accumulating and that's what it makes me so sad because they are doing it again they are fooling retailers again and yeah that's sometimes but that's how the markets works unfortunately even I try to avoid that and that's the point where I'm leaving the market right now is just because you know you say that that's not possible that's so obvious but that's it let us go forward and check Binance however always trade the market the problem is we don't know when they will flip but of course if you see a solid trend and it's bullish hey why not I mean for me that's not bullish to be honest for me it's just take cap push the price up to generate FOMO and then nuke it and I have mentioned they will nuke they will be very aggressive next time but however we will we'll see we will see so come on the Kingfisher yes I something I never will understand how Kingfisher is calculating that because it doesn't make sense what Kingfisher sometimes is showing here to be honest I really don't know what they are doing because we all know exchanges would never 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 allow such high volume in longs and to push up because that's money for them that's that's just really big money and at the same time you see the shorts but if we check the block um, um, blockchain whispers and I trust them to be honest because that makes more sense than that here I don't know I mean I'm not saying that the Kingfisher is wrong but I don't know how they calculate that 
in my opinion, I don't know if 1.5 billion is shorting with low leverage, but what's happening to these guys here then? And why all longs are longing with high leverage? I really don't get that. But however, Taking into account the King Fisher, I would say well, it doesn't make sense to go up. But let us go forward and check what FTX is doing. Because uh, FTX was limiting uh, the way down at 23.8 and um, very solid. I they were waiting there with 1500 bitcoins that was FTX per by the way and and they push so hard they absorb that they trigger the 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 sell order and they pushed up now it's maintaining that level and it wouldn't surprise me if if they would nuke from here it wouldn't really surprise me but however I mean yeah I mean that's exactly the same it doesn't make sense it really doesn't make sense and now what is that 40 millions that's nothing that's peanuts I really don't get that I mean it's it's it should not attract anybody to liquidate that here when you have all this here but as mentioned TikTok TikTok Nobody knows. Maybe tonight. Maybe I don't know. It will flip. They will nuke very hard, and they will yeah liquidate. Let us go forward. Check what option trading is doing. So we can see they are yeah retesting 24k. They are uh, the second time failing really failing this time even with a higher volume once here second time here looks like a double double top wouldn't surprise me if it goes back to 23 as next you know um 23 or 23 200 just to go here play a little bit again and then go down and we will need i i'm i'm still convinced that we will nuke very hard very very hard but at the moment, the price action is indicating shut up, inspo. I'm bullish like hell. And I don't care about fundamentals. I don't care about economy. Everything is just, you know, ignoring everything. Um, let us zoom out a little bit. Oh. and something that was really surprising me is what we see here is for example if tx was all the time all the time distributing based on cbd nothing big really nothing big look what they did the price lifted up they started to distribute the price went down they were still distributing right now a little bit but that's nothing that's absolutely nothing we know FTX how many times we analyzed this chart and we have seen how FTX was pushing up to distribute later on that's nothing that's absolutely nothing and yes but they are pushing and as you see the aggregated looks a little bit better but futures like hell, stablecoin futures. They are using spot, of course, only with futures you can you can uh, pump up. It's a combination, but they are using just spot to support it. Everything works with with futures. Even if you check, um, and we will check the heat map. If we check the volume and the deltas, completely. A different different story absolutely different story while well, we have little tiny volume deltas in spot we have really big volume
volume deltas and futures. And that shows you this year is, in my opinion, again, just a fake. Just a fake. But Bitcoin margin contracts, what should I say? Exactly the opposite of stablecoin stable margin contracts. And it would, it looks more, it correlates more, uh, these both here correlates more together, if takes with the Bitcoin merchant um, futures. Let us go forward and check what's happening here. Oh, Jesus, come on. That's Coinbase, even Coinbase, not buying, absolutely not buying. Look what they are doing. The trend is distribution. I mean, they, that's so crazy. That's really so crazy. Binance exactly the same. At least we can see here on Binance the coin margin contracts lifted up, but not that much. And look what they are doing. I mean, pfft. that's that's just how can a market move like that? I well, well Bitfinex pushed really hard for them it's big volume so they are pushing 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 and we have here um our binance perp the open interest mm, it's okay Funding rate lift, uh, declined and lifted up afterwards and, well, I mean, the price didn't decline but it lifted up, so at least, you know, we can see here, for example, they um, liquidated, it seemed, someone or someone to profit, but I think someone was shorting here and, like here as well, and... Um, were liquidated. So let us go forward and check what's happening here. That's new. 3,700 bitcoins here related to the market maker or MM entity. 1,000 bitcoins here. We will see if he is accumulating now. No, he is not. Um, if we were at 5,920,000 Bitcoins, now we have 4,930,000 Bitcoins. So it's not that big. Uh, not sure if he got some via OTC or whatever. This entity selling. This entity not accumulating. And the only one, and even these guys, so retailers, looks like they have started to sell and even these guys are not accumulating now I ask how is that possible how is that possible someone should tell me that how is that possible why is that completely different to last year why it's completely different to last year we can see that the market maker was the big accumulator here while he was the main driver of fake rallies. Look, I mean, I'm not dumb. Look there, that's completely different. How does that work? For me, that's worst case. I have mentioned that several times. If they don't accumulate and we lift up, that's First of all, a fake rally, and B, we know we will go down very hard, and that's worst case. They don't are interested in buy Bitcoin. That's what they are telling us. They are not interested. 
nobody can show me that someone is accumulating because you can't you can't hide your entity you can't hide your bitcoins they have to appear in any entity in any wallet and the truth appear here it's not happening the only ones they are really accumulating since a while are retailers everything below of 10 bitcoins these guys are really buying these guys yeah they're purchased not that uh, that big we have mentioned that different times they bought 50,000 bitcoins or at least they raised their balances by 50,000 bitcoins if we check for example at the same time if we check for example then the market maker the market maker had here 5,150,000 okay and now he has 4,930,000 so he declined by 220,000 bitcoins what the hell and do you know <laughs> where they are in entities linked to exchanges how does that work why ha why for example i show you another thing um let me see that's bitcoin let us go the problem on crypto quant is if you want to check we know that binance for example is offering spot and derivative the problem here is crypto quant provides you the opportunity to check spot exchanges and derivative but if i go to binance i just see the binance sorry let me the Binance total Bitcoin reserves means spot and derivative doesn't help me at all I don't care so the only exchange that's not providing futures or options is coinbase so the only exchange I can check if they are getting more bitcoins to their reserves and that usually means weights are sending bitcoins to them they didn't distribute them maybe but they are sending its coinbase and if we check coinbase we will see that the coinbase reserves since june 17th has lifted up by almost 25,000 bitcoins still there okay they didn't sell them they are still there nobody is buying them it seems or at least they didn't withdraw this bitcoins from from the exchange but that's the problem i would like to see for example on gimini on huobi on binance how their spot reserves are looking like something i unfortunately can't track only if i track the spot exchanges yeah well that's nice uh but not really useful because we have some exchanges with uh, for example, if takes they never allow to have much more arising uh, reserve. So as soon they get, for example, 10,000 bitcoins, an hour later they disappear. I don't know how that works. I have mentioned that and claimed that many times. I don't know how it works. So this general view doesn't help us to track what's happening to the spot exchanges the only one is coinbase unfortunately but we have 25,000 bitcoins there if everyone is so bullish if weights are so bullish if institutionals are so bullish why aren't they just buying this 25,000 bitcoins on coinbase for example and withdrawn them i don't know i really don't know so however and that matches very well to what we can see here i don't see any huge accumulation the question is how does it work well very simple if you are trading more with futures and we will check that right now with the next chapter exchange walls i will show you the difference between volume delta on spot and volume delta on futures it's completely different 
and that would explain a lot. They are not big accumulating Bitcoin. They are trading Bitcoin. Yeah, that's right, with derivatives, but not accumulating. That's my opinion. Let us go forward. So, let us start with Coinbase. Let us see what Coinbase is doing. Coinbase had a wall here, was absorbed. Now they have another wall at 24,525. Nothing else above. As you can see, the next wall would be at 35, and I guess something at 100,000 or something. Gas plan B is waiting there. Whatever. Still blocking and locking their liquidity, wasting it, because what the hell, you don't need that if you know the price is not going down, right? But, let me go up again. So if we check here the volume delta, for example, and you can see the volume delta very nicely there. Um, check that here, I will show you that. That's the volume delta. And right now the volume delta is minus 80 bitcoins. The total volume right now in this one hour candle, and this one hour candle is right now 24 minutes old, is 670 bitcoins. For, for Coinbase, I mean, that's a big exchange. <laughs> that's, that's, that's nothing. That's really nothing. However, they are not limiting the way down. Uh, the next one would be 20,500. And that's it. At the moment, as you see, look what they are doing. They placed here an order to let bounce here the price and to go more up. That's what they are doing. That's what they are doing. So if we check, for example, here, look. 4,004, and, and that was a huge candle. 400 bitcoins volume delta means they bought 2400 bitcoins they sold 2000 bitcoins that's nothing that's absolutely nothing let us go forward derivative derivative perp okay okay they removed the wall here look they have a lot of walls waiting there if we check here, also here, they are waiting to limiting the way down at 23k. Uh, the next one limitation to the way up will be almost at 28. So if we check here, I mean, that's US dollars right now. If we check again the volume delta, we can see the volume delta at the moment is not even 1 million. Let us go forward and check what's the volume delta here. It's it was 9.6 million US dollars. Well, derivative is not the biggest one, so it's okay. If we check, for example, Bitstamp, Bitstamp doesn't have any walls to the upside. Also here, if we check that here, 28 bitcoins. If we check the candle before, 300. 39 bitcoins delta I mean that's 340 bitcoins that's nothing let us go forward at least Binance we know Binance is big and just remember the delta the volume delta and compare that with futures so we have on Binance bot we have a 28 and 30k some walls but on the way as well 25k for example we have walls here at 22 we have walls at 23 um, and the next one would be at 20 so nothing special to be honest so if we check there right now and that's i mean 535 bitcoins at the moment they are selling more than buying that explains why the price is um, right now declining if we check here again at least here 
on Binance we had 2195 bitcoins they bought 19,000 bitcoins they sold 17,000 bitcoins the next candle a delta of 80 bitcoins yes 80 bitcoins 11,835 bitcoins bought sold 11,755 what the hell is that if we check this big candle here at least here that was also not that bad 1272 bitcoins delta they s bought 12565 bitcoins and sold 11300 so it means that they were waiting to sell it seems they let the price go up if we go to Bitfinex, well, Bitfinex is always low, but look that Bitfinex is waiting here 32. They have some walls there and of course also waiting, locking. I don't know why, just some money. That was the biggest volume since a while on Bitfinex, as you can see, if we check the volume delta here it's exactly the same that's just a joke it's a joke if we check that here the volume delta 660 bitcoin that's it that's just really a joke they are also waiting here 22,000 so it wouldn't surprise me to let the price go down again at 22,000 and then let bounce the price go up again just you know to generate some shots again so FTX perp as mentioned uh, we had this um, exchange wall they absorbed them very well um, and at least I was expecting just because of FTX perp that could be it um, even they are still waiting at 26 and they are here limiting the way down at 22,000 so in my opinion that should be the next the next um, target is to go down even more hitting 22,500 or even 22,000 and then go up again or something we need to see um, however if we check here right now 677 bitcoins but that's derivative if we check here the biggest one 1650 bitcoin derivative they had four forty four thousand four hundred eighty bitcoins in whole volume that's big that's really big but only 1650 delta <laughs> that's nothing however that's perp I mean that's not that bad compared to spot that's extremely high Kraken Kraken that's bought at the moment let us check what Kraken is doing 80 Bitcoin Delta they bought 40 Bitcoin they sold 122 Bitcoin so absolutely not big even here 300 Bitcoin Delta and here 47 Bitcoin Delta here 120 Bitcoin Delta that's it that's not big if we check here uh, they are limiting at 25k and even here 24,300 and 21,500 and that's it that's absolutely it yeah so let us go forward well Bybit I never have detected anything on Bybit to be honest but Bitmax Bitmax also interesting Bitmax still at 25k Bitmax big waiting at 28 and 26.3 and as well waiting here 22.200 so it seems 22.200 is their protection level they would let the price go down to 22.200 and at least it should stay there maybe they will um, just you know they will it will bounce there maintain their maybe they will remove the wall afterwards and then we nuke something 
I could expect. Look, they removed at least here, they removed at least here. So, but they stay still with this liquidity lock there. Does that make sense? In my opinion, not. But however, also here, if we check, we have at least here right now a volume delta of minus 3,200,000. So, um, indicating they are selling more than buying, of course. And even here, 2 million delta plus 14 million. Okay, that was extremely nice for BitMEX. And here, 11 million. Imagine, this candle here has a bigger volume delta than this one. Wow, that's crazy. Let us make here just a big, you know, just to make this comparison between Binance Spot and Binance Futures. Let us check this candle here today. We had here a volume delta of 1,270 Bitcoin. We, <laughs> we have here a volume de delta of almost 11,500 Bitcoin. And now telling me they are buying huge. It's futures, 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 futures. That's the main volume. That's the main volume. I mean, if we check that, wow, almost 97,000 bitcoins and one hour candle as total volume. That's really nice. 55,400 purchased and sold almost 43,000. That's really nice. If we check here, Volume delta 16,000 bitcoins. That's completely different. We had a total volume of 183,000 bitcoins and one hour candle. That's huge. That's really huge. However, let us check what's happening here. Binance, wow, interesting. Ah, I know why. But however, even then we see they are not locking any more any liquidity to the downside. Also very interesting in my opinion. And very bullish as you see. Uh, that was the main driver here. Um, as you see here as well, they want to sell. Sell, sell, sell. Let us go up and let me sell in your face. So 25, 26, 24,500. Jesus, I love this market. <laughs> That's so incredible. I hate this, but I love it. That's so paradox. 22,600. I would say 22,500, 22 looks very solid. Very, very solid. Um, to give them a nice short. And maybe to because they they don't want to let the price go up more it seems not yet maybe later on but however bitfinex derivatives look bitfinex derivatives has removed its wall there we don't have any wall more to the downside the next one would be here at 20600 and of course at 22 at 22 looks really really good um well <laughs> that's the derivative right minus 7.5 bitcoin something is wrong i guess with bitfinex because really i mean that's nothing if we check here 76 bitcoin 76 bitcoin 30 bitcoin 31 bitcoin that's nothing that's the volume delta absolutely nothing and that's even derivatives Kraken Futures. Let us check what Kraken Futures is doing. Absolutely nothing at the moment, indicating a half million in volume delta, a minus, uh, two and a half million US dollars CM plus, and not even a million. Oh wow, that's crazy. However, also peanuts. Absolutely peanuts. FTX spot. Also, let us make here the comparison. I know it will take extremely long today, but it's for you. It's not for me because I know everything here uh, about the volume delta. 
at the moment 155 bitcoins and that's as mentioned that's here this part okay if we check here this candle 640 the big candle was 65 bitcoin delta volume delta means almost neutral they purchased the same amount like they sold does that make sense no the next candle much more so if we go now to if the x perp let us make the difference 240 bitcoins if we check here 1650 bitcoins volume delta positive while here it was negative that's very really interesting i didn't see that so they were shorting while they were buying spot that's interesting isn't it they forced the dip very interesting that was a little dip but however and that's it that's absolutely it so let us go forward and check my personal conclusion